In 2017, the European Banking Authority released a report on recommendations for cloud computing. And a lot of people have taken that report as to uh, imply that a bank or another financial institution actually has to have the right to audit to a cloud provider. Now, the report seems to say that, but if you dive deeper into it, you'll find that it's a little bit more let's say complicated than that. So the right to audit would imply that you, your company, your, your bank would, would have to write into the contract with like Amazon that your auditor would be able to go into their data centers. And this is something that, to put it mildly, Amazon is very, very reluctant, reluctant to agree to. There have been only a very, very few cases of them allowing that for uh, any other customer. Now, if you dive into the report and you look at what it says, for example, it says that if the right to audit would be a risk to the other clients of that cloud provider, you might find what's called other ways of assuring yourself um, of the quality of that cloud provider, of the implementation of controls. And one way of doing that is by relying on a, let's say, third-party auditor who will have access to all those premises, to, to the physical buildings and all of that stuff. And the cloud provider would give you the access to all those reports. So when you're a bank or a financial organization, a properly phrased, um, let's say, clause in the contract that gives you the right to access to proper audit results will be good enough for the European Banking Authority to fulfill the requirement of the so-called right to audit of the cloud provider. Thanks for watching. My name is Peter van Eyck and this is the YouTube channel Club Cloud Computing. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel.